Hello everyone. Welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled SAP Connected Products, Engineering and R&D Solutions for New Market Realities. SAP Connected Products deliver a product innovation platform that effectively manages, translates, and integrates customer-driven engineering innovations throughout the enterprise and into the market by orchestrating all business functions and XBOM requirements. Today you will learn about this exciting new strategy as well as SAP's new software innovation supporting it. My name is Alan Mendel, Vice President at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. Uh, so without further ado, we'll launch into things here. Um, what I'd like to talk to you all about today, as Alan mentioned, is, is SAP's connected product strategy. Um, and we'll go through uh, a number of different slides here, uh, but the intention really to, to have more of a conversation and uh, make sure that we save time for that conversation at the end of this call. Um, connected products it really is um, our, our new strategy for how we address the, the line of business uh, of our customers as it relates to engineering and R&D. Um, it's really about how you connect product innovation from your engineering department to the rest of your enterprise. How do you connect uh, the people uh, as well as the technology to truly deliver on uh, the vision that's created uh, within those departments? And so without further ado, uh, I do have to put up a legal disclaimer. We will talk about uh, some roadmap and some product topics uh, that have not yet been delivered. Uh, so this is just a reminder that these are, uh, these are our, our future directions and intentions. Um, but uh, not necessarily something that you all could uh, hold my feet to the fire on in terms of delivering tomorrow. Um, so to begin, what I want to do first is to talk about PLM, or Product Lifecycle Management. I think this is something that uh, certainly in, uh, in popular press and in, in an industry press uh, recently has come up is, what is PLM? Um, and we're of the firm belief that, that PLM really is a strategy. It's not necessarily a single software solution that can be pointed to. Uh, but rather uh, a, a series of solutions um, that needs to be closely tied and coupled with um, our customers and, and really any given company's um, uh, strategy, processes, uh, in, in terms of how they make these things happen. And so if, if we think about that, SAP is, a, or sorry, PLM is a strategy, um, if you look at our area, and you can see what's, what's referenced uh, in the center of this slide, um, that most closely comes to delivering on the promise of true product lifecycle management end to end. Um, it's what we call our extended supply chain uh, portfolio offering. And it's made up of capabilities that will deliver um, across uh, planning horizons, uh, the ability to craft appropriate responses, um, production of those solutions, delivery of those solutions and or products, operation of your of your environment to actually make sure that you have the uptime that's necessary to do all of those wonderful things um, and then monitoring around the center uh, or sorry around the around the periphery uh, to make sure that everything is always being optimized and and square and center of that is design and that's the area that we'll spend most of our time talking about today um, but essentially if you think of, of PLM going beyond just engineering and R&D um, I think it's fair to think of Engineering and R&D, uh, in many cases, is the birthplace um, of enterprise data and of innovation. Uh, and that's, that's what we'll talk about today in terms of market trends uh, that we see out there that our customers are experiencing, um, that many of you on the phone are likely experiencing yourselves, and, uh, and then talk about the portfolio of solutions that we use uh, to help our customers address those. So I'll first go through a couple of market trends, uh, and we'll talk about success strategies for how to address those market trends. Uh, the first one to mention is product individualization. Uh, and I don't think this is a surprise uh, to most. Um, personalized solutions uh, are very much now becoming uh, the expectation and, and not the exception. And you can see uh, the pictures that are on this slide really representing a, a vast number of different industries um, that are experiencing or have experienced for decades in many cases uh, this, this individualization phenomenon. 
Um, so you can see down in the lower right the, the industrial machinery and components industries um, have always operated, or, or almost always, uh, all operated uh, in this context. Uh, to the upper right, then, you can see a, a number of different tasks, and I think those could be barrels of um, choose your favorite process industry. It's certainly relevant to cross all. Um, you know, in the oil and gas, uh, there's a trend and move towards the creation of, of custom uh, lubricants, and actually we'll talk about that example with ExxonMobil a little bit later, um, essentially having batch of one from a process industry to address their specific customer needs. Um, the, the motorcycle that you see, obviously an, an automotive industry example, uh, this particular bike is from Harley, and, uh, and Harley is another customer that's really leading the charge and they recently went through a transformation to develop the ability to deliver any bike on any line at any time. Um, so uh, really a, a wonderful story there. If you're not familiar with it, certainly uh, I, I would recommend putting a placeholder uh, in your mental um, to-do list to, to, to check them out. Um, and then I think on the, the consumer product side of things, there's, a, there's this wonderful Coca-Cola vending machine that you can see where um, you now have the ability to customize the drink that you want. So if you're interested in, uh, in an orange-flavored, um, half-caffeinated uh, diet, um, whatever that drink might be, you're now able to get that uh, with a few pushes of a button uh, to get your individualized beverage. So I think this is something that's been happening for a while. I think it's just there's a rapid explosion uh, that's happening right now in the market in terms of uh, the customers' demands, um, but also companies' abilities to deliver against those demands. And, and so that's really the first market trend that we see as being a, a major driver and mover out there for our customers.